Okay, this is part two to the conversation we're having on dissociation, which was based off of the TikTok I made about the six trauma responses and how dissociation falls under the flop response. I'm going to say it again, trigger warning. So if this is not your cup of tea or you don't feel in a safe space or in a safe headspace to hear this information, just move right along or save it for later. This lovely person was asking about the memory loss that comes with dissociation and how they're scared to remember and they don't want to and many people were like me either it's my greatest fear i don't want the memories to come back do they have to come back do i have to remember to heal so first things first no you do not have to remember in order to heal second thing you might not remember not everybody does and that's okay third sometimes you do remember but that fear that you have that like all of a sudden is just going to pop back up and completely overtake you like a wave isn't normally how I see it happen because the brain isn't going to offer you that information because it'd be so traumatizing and the reason you don't remember is the brain is protecting you from that memory because here's the important thing you might not have a cognitive memory of it but your body and brain remembers so while you might not remember here you still remember somewhere and this is why I teach my clients to trust their symptoms the hardest trauma to heal from is trauma you don't remember, but your symptoms never lie. The last thing I want to say about this is you have way more power and control than you think you do. Remember how I said that the brain is safe keeping that memory because it's trying to protect you? When I do have clients who have memory recall, normally what happens is they have established enough safety inside of themselves with emotions, with their thoughts, with my, me as a therapist, with the space that we have that the brain can allow them to access the memory and they intentionally go access it. And that can look different for everybody. Sometimes they don't have any imagery come back, but they have bodily sensations. Sometimes they have a dream and that's their memory recall. But I understand your fear and I know that it's scary. And that's why trauma therapy and trauma healing is not to be done alone. But I wanna remind you, your brain has kept you safe so far, it's not gonna stop now.